If you've been struggling to work through and leave your limiting beliefs behind you once and for all, we need to talk. If you haven't been able to successfully work through your limiting beliefs just yet, it's most probably because you haven't been aware of the following two things which I'm about to share with you right now and psh, I believe number two is probably the most crucial one. In order to completely let go of your limiting beliefs and replace them with beliefs that will actually serve you and support you to get wherever you want to be at in life, you have to understand where they're coming from. Number one is you have to understand the following. Almost your entire belief system is created in your early childhood. That's also called early childhood programming. What does that mean? That means from the day you were born up until the age of roughly around seven years old, you naturally adapt all of the beliefs from the people who have been raising you. So if the people who have been raising you, your parents, your family, your caretakers, believe that money doesn't grow on trees and success is only for the other people and you really need to get a nine to five to get them bills paid, chances are that is what you naturally adapted because this is what you've been experiencing all your life. And remember, you were collecting evidences for those beliefs throughout your whole entire life up until now. Because remember, we manifest in our lives what we believe, what we are, not what we desire. Number two, and I believe this is so crucial and most people are really missing this when working through their limiting beliefs and thus probably fail is check your patterns. What do I mean by check your patterns? And this one is so important. I really want you to dig deep right now and be very honest with yourself because this is probably one of the most crucial steps in order to work through your limiting beliefs. I want you to dig deep right now and really check in the past, whenever you were trying to work on your goals, whenever you were trying to achieve those things, what were the things that you were most scared of? What was your fear around taking that action? And why didn't you actually take that action? This step is so important because that's actually going to tell you everything about your limiting beliefs, what those limiting beliefs truly are. And remember, you have to know them in order to be able to actually work through them successfully. Hi, I'm business and life coach and communication trainer, Catherine Louise. Make sure to follow for more.